definitely. <laughs> but uh, last time we talked to you, I, you know, of course, I asked you about uh, KRS One. You guys got any plans of ever doing anything? Because uh, you know the fans would love to see y'all get together and do something. Yeah, but you know what? I'm not gonna be on no. Oh, I'm gonna do it for the love or none of that stuff because me and uh-huh. him has never battled ever. I don't care. Any hip hop historian knows a battle is two ca- two cats on stage doing what they do. Cause I just went right. off on him. I went off on him a couple of months ago, and he's my man and all that. But yo, I'm tired of you saying how you took me out and you ain't never did shit. You ain't yeah, never right. did shit. I got a fucking five-page motherfucking rhyme in the drawer. See, what niggas thought I was going to do was make the, make the rhyme and put it out there and give him a chance to rebut that shit. No, nigga. When we come to that point where a nigga going to pay for us to do this shit, I'm going to have some shit for you. You ain't going to be able to understand where the fuck it's coming from. You know what I'm saying? Because that's right. how you fuck around. And you, you don't tell your motherfucking the general on the other motherfucking army, army field what your, what your tactic is. Because that, if you tell him what your tactic is, eventually he's going to come behind and win. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't train with the same fighter in, in, in the same gym. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Right. You know. So what you're saying is, Shan, after all these years... You want to battle here and want to settle the score right now. Uh, listen, it's going to be saying? what it's going to be. Exactly. Exactly, because I'm sick of him getting on stage talking about, and no one, it, when it happened, when it really hit me, was when he had took that dude out on stage. Well, he ain't even really take that dude out. He let him stay in the audience because he knew that kid had something with him. That he wasn't prepared for And you on stage talking about Dweedle, dweedle, dweedle Dweedle, dweedle, dweedle That's some Mork and Mindy shit You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. All that coming off the top of your head shit That's some bullshit That's some real bullshit And so now you're going to say Oh, I took Shan out years ago Let's be real with this shit Use a book smart motherfucker all right, you know all that bullshit. Well, guess what? That's some shit that you motherfucking interpreting from somebody else's reading. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you do your right. little activist shit and all of that shit. But when it comes down to motherfucking lyrics and making motherfucking stories and metaphors, nigga, you can't fuck with me. You can't fuck with me. As you listen to my songs and his from back in the day, they are two different types. He's a boom bap. Go in the club and hype the club up. Nigga, you'll kill me at a show any day. I'll get that to you. At a show, nigga, you will tear me down. I don't give a fuck any day of the week when it comes down to that show shit because I'm a motherfucker that get on stage and I'm going to fucking spit my lyrics and shit. My lyrics going to speak. I ain't got to make niggas jump up and down. I'm there to motherfucking make your mind fucking tantalize. I'm, I'm there to make you say, ooh, ooh. Yeah. And the closest that me and him ever got to being face-to-face doing anything, I mean, we was on shows together, but we never actually stood toe-to-toe, rhyme-for-rhyme, back-to-back, and did anything other than a Sprite commercial, and I dumped you on that. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I, if I want to get to the Sprite commercial, you can't even count. <laughs> Second strike, Shancy's triple strike put in his eye strike. Strike two, lyrical verse dispersed with... Come on, you said strike two twice. Right. <laughs> you think what I'm saying? Right. You said strike two twice. So if that's the case, that's the only time me and him ever went toe-to-toe about anything. So all this, I took Shan out, blah, blah, blah. If that's the case, I could say I took LL out. But I'm not going to say that. Only thing happened is I made a record about LL and he didn't respond. So that doesn't give me the right to say, oh, I took LL out. You know what I'm saying? Right. I could go on that premise. If I'm going on the same premise as KRS-One because, oh, I didn't make another record after this, that was Molly's fault. Molly ain't want nothing to do with them niggas. Move. Get out of my room. No. Get out of here. I'm finished. Wait till I'm finished. Molly ain't yeah. going to do another song with him, about him. So now I got to hold that stigma, but that's all right. That ain't no problem. That ain't no problem at all. But my point is, to any hip-hop historian, any battle that you ever had claims to name and all of that stuff, there was two, two cats on stage, 
doing what they do, and that's the end of that. But guess what? I ain't going to do it on the strength of, oh, I got something to prove, nigga. Y'all going to pay me. Right, I'm going right. to get paid on this shit. It ain't going to be about no motherfucker. Oh, I'm dissing you on this nigga. Where the money at? These niggas getting 80000 a motherfucker show. You think I'm going to stand up there on stage with you and we do this for no money? You're a dickhead. Yeah, you ain't lying about that shit. Because they got you all these other little cool. battle leagues and shit. You know what I'm saying? You cats out here making money doing that shit. So it's, it's got to be no. done right if it ever be like that, period. You know what I'm saying? So, so you, I mean, yeah, that could be a pay-per-view type of thing. I mean, that could be a huge situation right there. So out of, out of you know, this history goes back, you know, three decades almost. So you're saying you guys never battled before. This would actually be the first time you guys were face-to-face battling. Battling, yes, other than that Sprite commercial. You take what I'm saying? Right. And this is what, yeah, this is what really shipped me off. Yeah. This is what ticked me off when I heard him say, oh, I took Shan out. Come on, man. Not with that. One, two, three, four. I'm going to see more. What are the selling socials at the seashore? Nigga, you sound like motherfucking Dr. Seuss. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> In my eyes, look, y'all know who Cyrano de Bergerac is? Hello? You said what now? Yeah, you said what now? Cyrano I hear you. He's the, do you know who Cyrano de Bergerac is? Mm-hmm. No, no. Look up on look up Cyrano de Bergerac. I know you got a computer in front of you. <laughs> Nigga, use the hip hop Cyrano de Bergerac. Not only is your flows, but your words are whack. Now whack, look up yeah. a picture of look <laughs> up a picture of Cyrano oh, de Bergerac see. right now. On your phone or something. <laughs> <laughs> and watch, and right I'm now. just gonna give, I'm just gonna give that little tidbit up. Shit, I, I don't know how to spell it, man. Just put Cyrano, just talk okay. it into your phone, Cyrano de Bergerac, and look at a picture of Cyrano de Bergerac. That's all I'm gonna give up on that. I got shit like that for his ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to look this shit up right now. Let's I'm see what I get, yo. Ooh. Google. Use a hip hop silver no version rack. I got shit talking about motherfucking you nigga. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> shit, Simone gonna kick you out the house when I'm finished, nigga. <laughs> yeah, but that is, that could generate a lot a, a large amount of money if it's done properly. Like uh, we had a. Uh, uh, Damon Feldman, he does a celebrity boxing uh, events and whatnot. He could even start, or whoever pr- promotes these uh, battles, they could have a huge fucking pay per view because this is thirty years in the making. Who wouldn't want to right. do this? You know what right. I mean? And we're gonna do it like these battle league niggas do. I don't need no music. I don't want to hype the crowd up with a beat name, paying attention to what you're talking about. Forget that. Acapella. Acapella, yeah. so they don't mistake what's going on, the actual facts. Yeah, that would right. be dope. That's, 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 dope the, that's the only way to do it. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Like them. Too. At, at the end of the day, after, and not to cut you off, Shane, but at the end of the day, after the battle, whoever wins, I'm sure there's going to be a mutual respect, and maybe, maybe finally the two of you can get in the studio and cut the record together. Oh, we've done it Hopefully. before. We've done it. We've done it, and there's no disrespect. There's no, you know, being mad. I'm. I love Chris to this day. We cool as hell. But the bottom yeah. line is, stop talking that bullshit. You be talking, man. Yeah. Stop talking right. that bullshit. You be talking. You be talking a bunch of bullshit about how you took me out, but yet you want to talk about how you the hip hop historian, and you ain't even saying the right shit. Two niggas get on stage in battle. When a battle is a battle, it's two niggas on stage, straight out. Ain't no, ain't no record for record, none of that. Any battle. And I'm not going. I'm not going to be a roundabout. I'm going straight for your head, nigga. Straight for your head. But I'm not gonna give it up. Dweedle, right, dweedle, right. dweedle. That's some Mark and Mindy shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> Especially with y'all coming from the birthplace of this shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
it would only be right for y'all to do a real battle if it was. And I, and I feel you on that. Like, get paid for that shit because this motherfucker's out here getting paid. And it'd be some garbage-ass shit. Even these battle leagues that they got. Some of these motherfuckers right. really ain't. They really ain't saying shit just because you can say a whole lot of words and make them shits rhyme. You know what I'm saying? That don't mean you you dope with that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta have you gotta have a concept and everything behind what you're saying. Like just you get a lot of motherfuckers just spitting spitting shit and just thinking they can go real fast with it. That mean they tight. That don't mean you fucking tight. Not that just mean mean shit at all. That means you just can say a whole <laughs> bunch of words fast. That's all that means. But if your words ain't meaning shit. That means you could you know be an saying? auctioneer when your rap money runs out. Exactly. Right. You know what I'm saying? And even they talking about something. Fuck. They talking about what you want to buy. <clears throat> These motherfuckers just talking dumb shit. Look, all I got to say to put put some shit out there for the nigga, these 50 balls I give you going to feel like 50 lashes and Simone going to have to find a <laughs> spot up on the mantle for your ashes. The nerve of you to think that you could beat me at a joust and if you alive when I'm finished, she going to kick you out the house, nigga. They put us in a boxing ring and thought that that would end the fight. But I outlast your ass. But they gave you the Sprite. It's okay. You know what I'm saying? I got shit for this nigga, man. <laughs> shit that motherfucking that. Yo, that's it. You know what I'm saying, nigga? Right. Nigga, I got some shit for you, Chris. Is all I'm saying. You know I've never been scared of you, ever. On any level. On any level. You know what I'm saying? But I'm tired of motherfuckers saying, oh, we ain't never battled. That's it. We ain't never battled ever. So that shit needs to be put out there. And, and every chance I get, I'm going to fucking make sure niggas know the real shit. We ain't never battled. We did shows together, plenty of them. I had to save this man's life like two days before Scott got killed. You know what I'm saying? Come on. We, we had fun times together, but we never battled straight out. We went and did his show. I did my show. You dig what I'm saying? But now here right. we are 20 years later, and you 30 albums in. I produced Snow and stopped fucking with hip-hop, period. So now you want to take that as, oh, I put you out the game? No, nigga, I was sitting back spending these motherfucking millions while you were still working hard. 